morning, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday 6 Eastern. A very well-known Republican analyst and former speechwriter was caught in what they're calling a hot mic moment, trashing the Sarah Palin pick. Peggy Noonan made the comments after a segment on MSNBC. Let's take a listen. Most qualified? No. I think they went for this, excuse me, political shit about narratives and yeah, they went to narrative. in the picture. I totally Every agree. time Republicans do that, because that's not where they live and it's not what they're good at, they blow it. Peggy Noonan later said in our off-air conversation, I got on the subject of the leaders of the Republican Party, assuming now that whatever the base of the Republican Party thinks is what America thinks, I made the case that this is no longer true, that party leaders seem to me stuck in the assumptions of 1988 and 1994. I'm certainly sorry I blurted my barnyard epithet. Well, Peggy Noonan's fingerprints are all over the pages of GOP history. She authored President Reagan's famous speech marking the 40th anniversary of D-Day, and she wrote that Reagan's address to the nation after the Challenger explosion, the most memorable line, slipped the surly bonds of earth and touched the face of God, was borrowed from a famous poem. As for the first President Bush, a kinder, gentler nation and a thousand points of light, read my lips, no new taxes, all of them, Peggy Noonan's work.